Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of School of Honor, the series where I share tips, tricks, tactics and knowledge that has helped me improve my game in For Honor. Today I'm going to talk about combos and specifically a misconception I've seen in some guides on YouTube. Also, I will cover one damage issue that surprised me quite a bit when I realized it. So, although combos should be pretty straightforward, perhaps it needs some clarification, at least for beginners. Just recently today, I saw a video covering combos in an incorrect way, so please correct me if some more experienced player out there find faults in my facts. I would only appreciate that. To start with, Combos can't be spammed, with a few exceptions of really fast combos. Uruchi's top light combo, Warden's side light combo perhaps, and so on. Combos need to be timed correctly and will in those cases be much more efficient than just a couple of consecutive hits of the same type. Combos are faster and can in some cases even deal more damage than the same attacks that aren't performed as a combo. And that's why I really wanted to cover this since there are channels bigger than mine with videos that can be a bit misleading sometimes. This is of course nothing new to experienced players, but practicing to time combos correctly is something that has been very important for my performance at least. This is for example just a couple of consecutive hits, and these are the same type of attacks but timed correctly and therefore executed like a combo. And here we have yet another example. As you can see the animation is slightly different and the attacks are much more fluent. Personally, I like to go in against a level 0 bot that won't even fight back and just train to time all combos from the moveset menu for the hero I want to play. This is an easy way of trying out how they work, how you can chain combos together and different strategies to engage your enemy. One interesting thing about combos is that a quick chain of attacks will inflict more damage as health can regenerate if you stop attacking your opponent after a couple of hits. Here you can clearly see that my opponent regenerates some health after a chain of attacks. So if I would have been able to follow up with attacks, I would have killed him faster with fewer attacks as well. In my opinion, this means it's quite important to learn all possible combos with a hero, not just the unblockable ones, as you will be a much tougher opponent if you're able to switch between different combos and especially switching direction of the attack within a combo. For example, doing a left light attack, right heavy attack, followed by a top heavy attack instead of just pushing light heavy heavy from the same stance. So to sum this up, jump into a training session with a level 0 bot, look into the moveset of the hero you want to play and start trying out the combos one by one until you nail the timing perfectly every time. You will see that the animation is slightly different when you nail the combo, at least that the attacks are performed more fluently, even if some combos might have the same animation as the attacks performed normally. So that's about it for today guys, what are your thoughts on today's episode? Is this common knowledge or was this actually new to you? Do you have any favorite combos of your own perhaps? Uh, perhaps thoughts around combos that are really hard to counter? Spill your guts out by leaving a comment below and please give me a thumbs up or down so I know what you think about this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you will get notified when I post videos. I'll be back soon with more For Honor and Rainbow Six Siege content and until then, I will keep being noiser. Hey, all.